Tonight, federal investigators still trying to piece together what led a hot air balloon to collide with a moving train, sending three people to the hospital. I noticed a blue and green hot air balloon coming, you know, headed north, descending very, very low into, into a residential area. It happened in Burlington, Wisconsin on Wednesday. Burlington Police Chief Brian Mazensky saying in a statement, early reports from witnesses on scene indicate the hot air balloon appeared in distress and collided with a northbound Canadian national train. Police adding Thursday that the gondola touched down and then the balloon became entangled with that train. When the uh, balloon, though, is coming in for a landing, like you mentioned, is it difficult to maneuver and control in a situation like this? No. So, so balloons control, a, a hot air balloon pilot can control a balloon within a couple inches altitude wise. Emergency crews headed to the scene around 8 15 p.m. Three patients, all conscious. One was serious injuries. Once there, authorities requested two of the passengers be airlifted to the hospital due to their injuries. The third was transported by ground. Those three patients have now all been released from the hospital and are recovering, according to Burlington Police. The freight transportation company, Canadian National Train, declined to comment and referred questions to local authorities. Hot air balloons are not an uncommon sight in that area. You see them occasionally during the summertime, maybe in the late summer or early fall, but they're usually at very high altitudes and sometimes in groups, you know. So it is not unusual to have a low flying balloon uh, for that last 20 minutes of flight. Sometimes there's a, a rare anomaly that's uncontrollable like this. The collision is still under investigation and the Burlington Police Department is working with the FAA and National Transportation Safety Board to figure out the cause. And Stephen Romo joins us now. Stephen, a really scary situation for folks in that area. Any idea at this point when we might get some answers about how this happened? Yeah, we know those federal authorities are investigating. So we could get some preliminary details in as little as two weeks, but it could be as much as a year. That's how it's been for similar investigations until we get the full report about exactly what happened. But I did want to mention the Balloon Federation of America. They did release a statement today saying that they're concerned for the victims, of course, but pointing out just how unusual it is for a hot air balloon yeah. to collide with a moving train. Just a very bizarre situation. Strange indeed. All right, Stephen Romo. Stephen, appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.